I'm Reverend Robert Gretz. I was a white pastor of an all-black congregation here in Montgomery, Alabama, arriving here just a few months before the bus boycott began. I had been involved in race relations since back in 1948, and my wife and I had worked with a black Lutheran congregation in Columbus, Ohio. We knew that there was discrimination and and racial division all over the country, but we had no idea how rigid it was in the South. When I received the call from the congregation in Montgomery to come and be the pastor here, the church officials in Columbus, Ohio, called me into their offices and sat me down and said, we won't allow you to go until you promise that you're not going to start trouble. I made the promise and I didn't start the trouble. I joined the trouble, but only because that was the proper thing to do. <laughs> when we got the word that Mrs. Parks had been arrested and that a one-day boycott had been called, we had to, to determine whether taking part in this activity would be violating my promise to the church and realized that if we weren't totally involved in what was going on, I might just as well have packed up our bags and, and left town because we would no longer have been effective. We knew that what we were doing was right, and we knew that God was in charge of what was happening. So we were determined that we were not going to let this dissuade us from taking full and active part in the movement. <laughs>